Hi everybody and welcome to this week's plan with me. Um, this week I am going to be filming from the 30th of July till the 5th of August. This is how last week turned out in case you didn't see it. The kit I will be using for this week is a fancy cat from planner face you have all your full boxes some quarter boxes and some heart checklist flags you've got your bottom washi and washi strips some quarter boxes some functional icons sidebar and some flags here you have your headers and your little things and some more heart checklists and this page is your weeklies, your deco, weekend banner and some extra boxes. I thought I would pull in some extra bits for this week. Um, I'm going to use these headers from Lucinda Charlotte and I've got some fold pieces. I'm going to use this Simply Gilded Washi for across the top. My fold pieces are from Planning by Miss Eve, as well as a sampler sheet from Lucinda Charlotte because I want to use the work labels. And I also have my date dots from HR Handmade. So I'm just going to get on into placing all the kit down and then I will get back to you. For placing the kit down, I'm just going to place the washi from the kit along the bottom, so then the spread would be Erin Condren size, and I use the Simply Gilded washi along the top with the date covers from the kit. I think by using the bottom washi it just uh, takes up the space from the extra length of the boxes so then everything fits the same way it would in an Erin Condren so I do that mostly now and if there isn't washi in the kit I will then use two different rolls of normal washi and I'll place them along the bottom in the same way so You'll see this as the kit gets put together. If you're a regular on my channel, you would have already seen me doing this before. Uh, the, I use washi at the top with the date covers because then it covers up the space where the dates are already in the planner because in this happy planner, they are quite thick at the top, the numbers. So just covers up that space at the top. I will then go in with my glitter headers from Lucinda Charlotte Designs and also my full boxes which I just scatter about. I don't like them all on one line. Um, and then I will do my sidebar as well. Date dots I decided to do off camera because they're a bit hard to get off the sheet without my tweezers and I didn't have my tweezers at hand. So I'm going to leave that here and then I shall get back to you when I do my functional. <laughs>
is all the kit placed down I'm now going to start placing my functional for Monday I start with a planner sticker from your world of color to mark that I want to share my weekly spread on Instagram following this I use a YouTube poppet from Laura Jane style and a character sticker with a monthly plan from fluffy marrow designs to mark that i want to film my monthly view then i use a quarter label from the kit along with the living room script word from your world of color to mark that my zone for this day is the living room and underneath that I use one of the work stickers from the Lucinda Charlotte Design Sampler to, so I can mark down what hours I spent on my blog just so I can make sure I'm not doing too much then I use another YouTube poppet to mark that my plan with me for this week will go up so this video that you're seeing now and I then use a gold foil bow from Planning by Miss Eve to mark that it is the last, it is the Love Island final. I also forgot to bring some parcel stickers down for me, but I place a half box on top of the deco box and write new phone in it. So I'll have to try and find my parcel stickers. I need to mark that my new phone comes moving on to Tuesday I use a Facebook sticker from Stationery Heaven Co to mark that I want to do some promoting for your world of colour and a Instagram sticker from Sprouted Paper Co to mark that I want to do some promoting for the Punk Planner. Lastly, for the top, I use a quarter box with a bedroom script sticker from Your World of Colour to mark that bedroom, uh, the girl's bedroom is the zone for that day. And here I forget to pull my planner up again, but I place a half box with a character sticker from Peaceful Mind Designs and another one of those stickers from Fluffy Marrow Designs to mark that I need to edit my monthly plan with me and underneath that I use a gold foil shopping script word from Planning by Miss Eve to mark that I want to do my online shopping Moving on to Wednesday, I use a quarter box from the sampler sheet from Lucinda Charlotte Designs and put my midweek sticker from Samantha May Sticks on top so I can show the first half of my week on Instagram. I then didn't know what to use in this space because I haven't got much going on for the morning so I use a sticker of that looks like washi tape it's from a sampler by I think it's from Planning by Miss Eve and I use this to mark washi Wednesday and then I use a quarter box from the kit to mark that with a bathroom script sticker from Your World of Colour to mark that bathroom is the zone for Wednesday. Um, as you can see, I needed to move everything up a bit because it wouldn't all fit together. But that is for the first half of my Wednesday. And then at the very bottom, I use a Etsy shopping time sticker from Your World of Colour along with a half box and a character sticker from Sprouted Paper Co 
with another foiled shopping script sticker and then I will just put the times that my shopping will be coming and I think that is all for Wednesday I love these Sprouted Paper Co little character stickers um, if you haven't seen it I do have a blog post and I will link it below moving on to Thursday I use a pop it YouTube sticker again with a planning time foiled sticker to mark that I need to film my plan with me um, I'm doing this early because we've got plans at the weekend which you will see in a minute I then use a quarter box again from the kit with a bedroom script word to mark that I want to do our bedroom on this day and I think that's all for my morning on Thursday um, moving down to mark stuff that I need to do in the afternoon I use another one of those work labels from Lucinda Charlotte to mark how long I work on my blog as well as one of those monthly character stickers from Fruffy Marrow Designs to mark that my monthly view will be going up on this day and that is it for Thursday moving on to Friday I use a film sticker from Peaceful Mind Designs with a Coffee Monster Co sticker to mark that I need to film and do a voiceover all my filming and stuff needs to get done before Sunday I then use a foiled flag from the Lucinda Charlotte Designs sampler sheet with a cleaning sticker from Peaceful Mind Designs to mark that I just want to do a general clean I then use a half box from the kit along with a Instagram sticker from Sprouted Paper Co to mark that I want to do some promoting for your world of colour on Instagram at the bottom of this box I use an appointment sticker from the Lucinda Charlotte Design Sampler to mark that I have the council coming out at 2 o'clock and then above this I use a Peaceful Mind Designs edit sticker to mark that I need to edit one of my videos I think I've gone a bit quick there it's probably because I was trying to find which stickers I needed to use does anybody else have any good plans for this week we're going off on a, one of our day trips on Sunday which you will see in a minute um, on to Saturday I use a half box with a stationary heaven co Facebook sticker to mark that I want to do some promoting for the punk planner and underneath this another edit sticker to mark that I need to do some more editing at the bottom I use a my friend mochi sticker of the unicorn having a bath and then a quarter box flat um, label sticker from the Lucinda Charlotte designs sheet with a coffee monsters co nail polish bottle to mark that I want to paint my nails and then I use one of the movie character stickers from 15 frill to mark that I want to relax and watch a movie this night moving on to Sunday I place a half box with a car sticker from Fluffy Mara Designs to mark that we are off to the seaside so there are no plans put down for Sunday so I just use random stickers to mark stuff like a Coffee Monsters Co sticker 
holding an ice cream to mark that we need to eat some ice cream while we're at the seaside. And down at the bottom I use a, another half box with a mermaid sticker from Vapetit Paula, which is no longer, well she is still a shop but for digital now. Um, but I use this to mark that we're going to do some swimming. We are going to Rill, so if the weather's nice, the girls can go in that little paddling pool area that they have. So I use that to mark that. I then use another ice cream sticker from 15 Frill this time to mark that we need to eat more ice cream. I didn't have any more sort of character stickers to mark different events that we could do at the seaside, but I thought that would do. Here I am just going to go through and place some of the deco at the bottom and I also remembered that I forgot to put a payday sticker on Wednesday so I use one from Sprouted Paper Co. But that is it for this week. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already please do so. Hit the subscribe button and then click the notification bell so you will get notified every time I upload a video. Uh, but that is it for now and I will see you in my next one. Bye!